channel welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog in today's video i am doing something really fun because it involves coffee and if you know me you know i am a coffee bitch i love coffee drink multiple every day so i decided i wanted to go out and try some of new york city's best coffee shops allegedly now i am a very harsh critic when it comes to coffee why is that number one i drink a lot of coffee as i said number two i love coffee that's all those are my qualifications so today i'm gonna to be going to five coffee shops and obviously that does not represent all of the best coffee in new york city i live in manhattan so i'm going to ones in manhattan and i'm only doing five only i'm doing five because i don't want to have a heart attack my caffeine tolerance is very high but i still also can be pushed over the edge so i think five shops five coffees will be just enough without literally sending me into a cardiac arrest hopefully oh, i'm like sweating already i'm gonna put on my walking shoes and we're gonna get started also all of my opinions of these places are just that opinions my opinions if you've been to these places and you don't agree with me that is okay i have never been to any of these places i wanted to choose places that were new for me which it's probably going to be crazy that i've never been to any of these places considering they are so popular <laughs> but there's a lot of coffee shops in new york city so i also bought a little microphone it's in my camera case right now i bought a little microphone i'm gonna plug this in and record my <laughs> my reviews and my ratings of these coffee shops with this little microphone because I feel like that's just gonna make it more fun. All right, let's go have a day and try some of the best New York City coffee shops. First up, we have Devotion. What differentiates them is their process. First of all, they hand select their 1,000 plus farm partners. They dry mill at their Bogota, Colombia facility. They roast in Brooklyn, and they are the only company in the world that roasts true farm fresh coffee only 10 days after leaving Orangit. So this should be an exceptionally fresh cup of coffee, and I will be the judge of that. I didn't realize how my hair looked before I recorded that, so don't mind me. Also, this lighting is doing nothing for my teeth. I swear to God, they are not this yellow, and it's really making me self-conscious. Okay, this is my first time using this mic. I just rediscovered that I bought this. I forgot about it. I am sitting in Madison Square Park because our first coffee shop was in Flatiron. Is in Flatiron? I am in Flatiron. I came to the park to talk because that place was packed. I wanted to sit down in there and taste it there and like you know sit there for a sec but every table was filled the vibe in there was amazing it was a beautiful coffee shop i mean obviously you can tell from the videos that i included but it was genuinely beautiful in there there were so many little tables a lot of people were in there working on their laptops i feel like that would be such a nice place to go and work that is exactly the vibe that i expect not expect but that's the vibe that I hope for when I go to a coffee shop. That is my review of the shop itself. Beautiful, F stunning. I'll have to take a pause and check how much this coffee was because I don't remember. I think it was like 650-ish, which is, I mean, I got an iced latte with oat milk. They had on the side like sugar, simple syrup, and they had honey syrup that you can add in if you want to. So of course I did that. Oh, there's like business people coming, hold on finance bros i'm afraid of them i'm feeling very bold with this microphone this is one of the greatest coffees i've ever had and i am not just saying that for the video i added some simple syrup and then i decided to try the honey syrup too for fun but this is an insanely good cup of coffee i feel like i can't give the first coffee shop in this video a 10 out of 10 that would just i feel like that sets the precedent too high but I will be comparing all of the other coffees that I tried today to this one because it is so good. Nope, it's so good. It's so smooth. Okay, unreal. It's unreal. For $6.50, I mean, I would pay $6.50 for this. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. I feel like that's extremely high. That concludes my review for this first place. Oh my God, I am already nervous. I'm gonna have to stop for food after every one if I'm gonna be able to continue on. 
Up next, we have Variety Coffee Roasters. This is a Brooklyn-based coffee company. They were founded in Williamsburg in 2008, and since then, they've opened six more locations around New York City, including this one in Flatiron. They roast their coffee right in East Williamsburg, and they've built a menu that reflects the various growing seasons of different coffee-growing regions in an effort to showcase only the freshest coffees. Okay, this audio in this clip is so f***ing bad. So I'm going to try and sit here in editing and record a voiceover of what I was saying and try to match up the words and all of that. I'm just going to try to like make it a lip sync situation. I hope this works because I have been trying to mess with this audio and make it better, but it sucks ass. I tried to use the AirPod and I don't know if I was covering the mic. I don't know where the mic is. I don't know if it wasn't working, but you can't hear a damn thing. It is not good. So I'm going to try and do this. Here we go. Where's the mic on this thing? I don't know. All right, our second shop is Variety Coffee Roasters. I'm here right now, as you can see. I am too scared to take out my mini mic in this coffee shop right now, but I'm not too scared to use my AirPod because it kind of looks like I'm on a FaceTime call, I will say. This is also a really nice vibe. It has a lot of natural light, tall ceilings. I feel like I'm on HGTV. There's also a bathroom. There was a bathroom at the last one. I forgot to mention that. I feel like coffee shop, if it doesn't have a bathroom, it's an immediate no from me. I just can't, I don't believe in that. I'm trying to prepare all of the coffees the same way. So I'm trying to get the exact same thing and put simple syrup in it if they have it or honey syrup or something like that. So I got another iced latte with oat milk. I added simple syrup. There wasn't labels on the things over there, but I'm assuming at least one of them was simple syrup. I added that. And then I also added a little bit of sugar because I like my coffee sweet. It's just how I am. I already tasted it, obviously, but let's do another taste. This is another fantastic cup of coffee. Again, very smooth. I feel like the oat milk definitely does something with the smoothness because oat milk is so creamy. The coffee is itself is very smooth, very nice. I know I'm adding things to it, but I'm like, Anything other than an espresso shot would be me adding things to it, so I feel like that's fine. I like this a lot. I'm trying to think if I like it as much as the last one. Do I like it more? How do I like it more? The other one got a 9.5. I think I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. This is crazy. I really shouldn't have started with this so high ratings because then I'm setting myself up. I really hope I'm not covering the microphone. No, imagine I'm covering the microphone. I don't even know where it is. I hope that you can hear me on this clip. I have no idea what's happening right now, but I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. Variety Coffee Roasters. Okay, Our third coffee shop is Stumptown Coffee Roasters, which was actually founded in Portland, Oregon in 1999 and has obviously since expanded to a few other major cities, including New York. A fun fact about Stumptown is that they are a certified B Corporation, which is a designation given to businesses that have passed a rigorous assessment and are deemed to be operating at the highest standards socially and environmentally. with my mic because the airpod was just not doing it i made my way downtown and now i'm sitting in washington square park because it is the most stunning day i may have ever seen in my entire life and there's some people out enjoying it and i'm just happy to be one of them i'm having a great time look at this weather you guys it's insane i am having i love it <laughs> It has been cloudy for the last like week straight, so this is a very welcome change and it's just peaceful, like the fresh spring air sitting in the grass. I'm feeling great. I just went to the third destination, Stumptown. I actually also deviated from the regular iced oat milk latte thing I was doing and I got an iced vanilla oat milk latte because i'm just getting sick of the same thing i i don't even know i lied sorry this is my third coffee in like an hour so 
I needed to change it up. And an iced vanilla latte with oat milk is my go-to order whenever I go to a coffee shop. So decided to try it from here. I haven't taken a sip yet. I walked right to the park because Stumptown is actually really close to the park. It was definitely a little bit smaller in there, but still the vibes are just so coffee shop. If you think of like a good coffee shop vibe, I feel like that is exactly what the last three have been. There are people in there working again. There were some tables, again, bright and airy, high ceilings, lots of natural light. We're gonna do our taste test because I haven't actually tasted it yet. And then I'm gonna give you a review, obviously. Can you see me? I hope you can see me. I'm using the back camera and this is better. Let's do our taste test. I got a small, but I'm pretty sure they're all made with double shots. And so that means this will be my fifth and sixth shots of espresso in an hour. That's so bad. Don't do that. I need to eat again after this. I'm starting to feel a little kooky. Do you have anything to say? Do you have anything to say? Okay. That's so good. I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised because somebody put these all on a list of the best coffee shops in New York City. So they should be good. I like this a lot because it's not overwhelmingly sweet and overwhelmingly like strong vanilla tasting. I almost said smelling. It's not overwhelming. It's very subtle. Also, interestingly about this coffee shop, I saw on a sign in there that all of their drinks are made with oat milk automatically which I kind of love that because they don't charge extra for oat milk and most places usually do. This coffee was kind of expensive. Oh, I forgot to tell you how much the last one was. I don't remember, but I think this one was like $7.50. When you make it iced, it's an extra like usually 50 cents. And then I believe the vanilla was an extra dollar, like 25, but I was so, I needed something different. I was bored of the same thing I was doing. It's so expensive. Oh, this is so good. I'm trying to think of what to give this as a rating because I have ranked the other two so high. This is a delectable iced oat milk vanilla latte especially if you don't love super super sweet like i said i like sweet drinks like sweet drinks are my preference but this is still sweet it's just not it doesn't taste artificially like vanilla if that makes any sense at all very creamy and smooth once again i do feel like the oat milk plays a big part in that this is really good this is so hard all right i'm gonna give this a 9.6 that was my first initial number 9.6 i'm gonna put that out there for this this is crazy these are all so high. I feel like I sound like a fraud. I shouldn't be rating them this high. That just doesn't make sense. I need to be more critical, but I am critical. And these are all good cups of coffee. I still have two more places to go to, so we will see how those do, you know? But these first three, girls. I'm really enjoying this. This is very good. All right, that's it for coffee shop three. Two more to go. I just want to sit in the park for like three hours in complete silence, honestly, but we're on a mission. So let's continue. <laughs> Our fourth coffee shop is Felix Roasting Co. And their vision is to redefine the coffee break and to galvanize both the mind and the creative spirit by paying just as much attention to the design and the experience of their shop as they do to the product, which obviously you can tell by their beautiful store. coffee number four i'm hanging on by a thread for coffee number four we have felix roasting co now i actually lied because i forgot that i have been to felix before i went to a different location this time i haven't been to this one specifically but i have been to this coffee shop so i do apologize i forgot that i have been there it was really quiet in there so i was like not about to sit in there and talk and review their coffee especially considering this one i do not like nearly as much as the other ones i got Oh my god, I'm so sorry about this lighting. I don't know what to do. I got another iced oat latte, of course, and this time I also got vanilla, but this vanilla said something about caramelized. I'm not tasting the caramelized. I'm just not a fan. I have been talking so highly about the other ones and I've been rating them so high, so I think that in order to reflect that scale, I need to rate this one like a six. And I'm sorry, it's not my favorite. And I'm not gonna lie, when I went here before, I don't I don't remember liking it either, especially considering it was $8. $8 and it's it's definitely a solid six. That's okay, I mean, I, I honestly knew things were too good to be true, things were going too well for the first three. I'm gonna go to number five, that'll be the final one. 
Our fifth and final stop is Coffee Project, which was founded here in the East Village in 2015. And a fun fact about them, which I think is really cool, they offer trading classes to teach people how to make coffee and even how to roast, which is something unique that I haven't seen in any other places. Alrighty, our last stop is in the East Village at the Coffee Project. It's a very cute, like hole in the wall vibe coffee shop again people were in there sitting and doing work it was much smaller than the other ones but like in a cute quaint way like i said hole in the wall coffee shop very new york love it i got oh my god you guessed it an iced oat milk latte this time they didn't have i don't think they had vanilla i didn't ask actually but i just got simple syrup and then added a packet of the brown packet of sugar i think it's the natural sugar i don't know but it's the best sugar to put in coffees because when it goes to the bottom it's like crunchy so it's almost like a little snack anyway this coffee is so good <laughs> so good no one of this place has 4.7 out of 5 stars on like google when i looked it up someone just sat down next to me this is very awkward i'm just gonna venture on back home and i will get back to you with my rating because this is too much somehow even after consuming four and a half lattes i am still exhausted i finally made it home a little while ago and then i immediately ripped off all the clothes i was wearing and laid on the floor and now we're here. I also haven't taken another sip of this coffee. <laughs> After this, I do not want to even look at coffee ever again. And by ever again, I mean for at least the next 24 hours. <laughs> Let's discuss our fifth and final coffee. All the ice has melted, but this is still so freaking good. It's just hard to give a ranking, a definitive number, because of how high I scored the first three. I would put this one up there with those three, but I just don't know where. I love this, but I also have recency bias. I'm like, well, how good was the first one? Now I don't even really remember. Cause I feel like this tastes so similar to that one. I feel like this is a 9.7. This is really not that deep. I just need to chill. I'm gonna, I think this might be my favorite one. I don't know if that's because it's actually my favorite one or because I have recency bias. Because when I tried the first one, I didn't think any of them could top that. But now that I've had four more, I'm starting to like not remember. I'm gonna give this a 9.5. Eight. I don't know. After further review, and by that I mean I went back to this coffee shop a couple days after I filmed this, I am gonna give this one a nine. I'm factoring in my second experience as well. That's still really high, nine out of 10. So four out of the five today, I'd say were huge successes. And if you are in the city, you should try them if you haven't already. I personally really liked them. So I need to drink only water for the rest of the day and for at least the next 24 hours. That concludes me trying out some of New York City's best coffee shops. I would definitely do this again, do a part two with more coffee shops because there are so many. If you enjoyed this video, let me know and I can do a part two and go try more. Today was such a beautiful day and I'm so happy that I went outside and I did a little bit of exploring, walked around, went on a bit of a coffee tour and took you guys with me. I had a lot of fun filming this video and I hope that you have fun watching it. I think that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've stayed until this point in the video, comment down below. I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you haven't subscribed, Anyway, also I have a podcast. I mean, I'm just throwing everything out there at this point. I have a podcast, Digital Diary with Hannah Elise. The link is always down in the description. And I think that's it. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.